Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, there are many boxes in the world, and some boxes are more famous than others. This is the Cornell box, and is, in fact, what I would consider one of the more famous boxes in history. This box is actually used a lot in graphics rendering, and I guess it works as some sort of a diagnostic tool. At first glance, there isn't a lot. You know, this box is just, well, a simple cube. There is a green wall, a red wall, two objects in the middle, as well as a light source on top. While it doesn't look like much, this box actually exhibits one lighting effect that is not easy to compute. That is in fact color bleeding. Now, notice how all the objects in the center are supposed to be white, but the stuff that is closer to one wall actually sort of gets a little bit of color from that wall. This is color bleeding, where a colored object actually reflects a little bit of light and colors a plain object beside it. As it turns out, this is something that isn't very easy to compute. So back in the day at Cornell University, when they were actually developing this formula, they built an actual Cornell box, and they lit it in this way. To confirm that their algorithm was correct, they basically measured the light in a box, and saw that it matched to what their algorithm has created. And that is essentially how they proved that their calculation was accurate. Of course, today we often just, you know, use it to show that there is that color bleeding effect. I recently did a rendering based project, I used the Cornell box to prove that, you know, my rendering actually works, even though it didn't really. But yeah, I don't think people actually do that whole measuring thing these days. Now, some variants of the Cornell box exist, including those that has transparency and reflection, you know, just to show even more complicated light interactions. So yeah, there you go, we've just devoted an episode to a very famous box. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.